Hello, I am Ahmad and in this video we are going to continue the verification of embedded plate we started in this playlist for the given load and we will finish the shear uh, verification for concrete pry out and then we will go through the combined tension and shear force verification. So just uh, to recap what we need to do let's go through the given uh, instruction for the shear loads so we checked part a which is a steel failure without levier arm part b it is not applied to our case part d we already checked in the previous video for the concrete edge failure and now we are going to check for concrete pry out failure then we need to go through the table table 7.2 so concrete pry out failure VED needs to be less than BRDCP which in our case it is a group of fasteners so we need to check with the given equation there are also exceptions uh, given in 7.2.2.4 clause 4 that you can check before we go through the verification clause let's recall shear loads distribution in Class 6222 distribution of loads part 1 section A all fasteners are considered to be effective for each of the following cases and in item 2 we can see that for verification of a steel failure and pry out failure which is subjected to this video we need to consider all the fasteners to be a part of taking the shear force so now uh, in our case Go to the next page 300 by 300 from PECO and we have four fasteners and shear force is 10 kN. So pry out failure is very straightforward. It's a very simplified method and uh, in 7224 concrete pry out failure item number two the corresponding characteristic resistance shall be calculated for fastening with headed or mechanical post installed fasteners as follows equation 739a represents the resistance for fastening without supplementary reinforcement supplementary reinforcement is completely another topic which does not fit in this example uh, also we do not have the information of the concrete wall so we go with this K8 times NRKC. K8 is a factor that needs to be taken from relevant European technical product specification. You can just Google this European technical product in, uh, specification and you will find the PDF. Here I have a screenshot from that for M16, which is our shank diameter or for, for our fastener diameter. Uh, concrete pry out failure k8 is taken as 2 so we already have k8 which is 2 and then we need to determine nrkc nrkc is determined according to 7214 for a single fastener or all fasteners in a group loaded in shift so that's uh, the same clause for concrete cone failure verification 7214 the only difference is that in concrete cone failure verification we need to consider only fasteners which are under tension but here all fasteners which are collaborating is taking the shear force and need to be considered for determination of nrkc to recall what we had earlier you can check also video number three i guess uh, how to determine the concrete cone resistance so NRKC0, it's the value is the same, 95.9 kN. ACN0 is 22.18.41 square millimeter. Psi SN0.84. And these values, these factors are all one. So the only thing, the only parameter which is changed, ACN, and let's uh, have a look on what we determined earlier for the concrete cone failure according to the provided material so here you can see that this uh, k8 
calculation is valid for the bolts that are in tension not all the bolts concrete cone failure and only these two bolts which have been under tension are considered for calculation of acn so if we look at our case at the moment the same wall the same config but different parameters for the now all bolts are involved as far as it is a narrow uh, wall in one direction it is limited to edges and in the other direction from each bolt we can go to 235.5 from here also 235.5 and this is 180 so now this is acn for this clarification so acn 235 Point five plus two thirty five point five plus one eighty, which is six hundred fifty one, and the other one is four hundred times four hundred millimeter. It will be twenty six o four hundred square millimeter. So we can substitute this value to equation seven one to determine NRKC ninety five point nine kilonewton times twenty six o four hundred millimeter square. 22 1841 square millimeter 0 0.84 and other factors which are 1 so 95.9 26 which is 94.6 kilonewton so then coming back to equation vrkcp k8 2 times nrkc times 2 189 so then we need to check the given equation ved group which is 10 kilonewton needs to be less than uh, vrkcp divided by gamma mc so 10 kilonewton needs to be less than 189 divided by 1.5 which is 126 and utilization ratio can be determined 10 kilonewton divided by 126 kilonewton 7.9 percent so at this point uh, we checked tension uh, in the fasteners and also in concrete so they have been verified also shear for three modes failure of fastener and also concrete edge failure and now concrete pry out failure are already checked and verified so now it's not finished yet we need to verify in the combination they are also uh, they would fulfill the requirement according to the code 1992 part 4 so it's uh, good if we have all the utilization ratios for a steel and concrete separately so a steel concrete and then tension and shear so i have to recall from the at the end of video number four we had all the values for tension 26 percent in steel 67% for concrete cone failure, 17% for the uh, pullout, 48% for the splitting and blowout, it was not applicable. Video number 5, we had the uh, utilization ratio for steel, it was 5.9% and also in the previous video we went through the uh, concrete edge failure, 43% and now we have this 7.9%. So this is the summary of the utilization ratios for different uh, failure mode. Class 723, combined tension and shear loads. 7231, fastenings without supplementary reinforcement, which is uh, relevant to our case. Item number one is a steel failure of fasteners. So here you can see that it is written NED divided by NRDS which represents the utilization ratio so utilization ratio for tension in a steel is 26 percent and for shear it is 5.9 percent so then 754 we can just verify with the 0.26 square plus 0.06 square 5.9 almost 6 so it is 0 0.07 which is 7% uh, it's totally fine quite low then it comes to the other than a steel which concrete is applied so here we have two equations 755 which is non-linear interaction and also linear interaction 
which is given as 756. Uh, engineering judgment would be the best way to decide which one should be taken. So if you go with seven, uh, equation 756, then the limit is 1.2. It doesn't mean that you can have an ED over an RD greater than 1. It is also stated here that with NED divided by NRD less than 1 and BED divided by VRD less than 1. For this verification, you can just take the maximum or the largest value of the utilization ratios that we already have. So for the concrete, the maximum utilization ratio is 67% in tension and 43% for the shear. So here, if we go with 755, then it will be 67% power by 1.5, 43% power by 1.5, which is 83%. So utilization ratio will be 83%. Or you can go with 756, 0 0.67 plus 0 0.43. 1.1 and it should be less than 1.2 or we can say that utilization ratio is 92 percent so here we can see that it's uh, more conservative with the linear interaction well that's the end of this example however the playlist is not finished yet so in this example we went through the last concrete pry out failure verification and the utilization ratio was quite low, only 8%. And also we checked the interaction for tension and shear force, which we can see that uh, with the less conservative and also more conservative equations for concrete, both are fine and we can approve that the embedded plate for the given loads are verified. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the PECO designer, which is one application which is uh, commonly used for checking these embedded plates. And we can just see how we need to use PECO designer and also how to compare our results. And that the main uh, target of this hand solution and also PECO designer as an example of application is just uh, compare and understand if something is wrong, what item or what uh, parameter needs to be modified. That's all for now. See you in the next video with Peco Designer. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.